everyone. It's story time with Grammy Lammy and Muriel once again. Today we've picked out this book. We were tired of living in a house by Liesl Scorpin. I think a lot of us are tired of being in our houses right now. Don't you think so, Muriel? Oh, never mind. Muriel lives in a barn, so that's different. Let's find out what happens. We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Scorpin. Title page. You know that's the title page, right, Muriel? Because it has the title on it. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks with mittens and earmuffs. Were they wool? Maybe. Those are the best kinds. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. Do you want to live in a tree, Muriel? Mm, I think I really like living in a barn. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. Until we tumbled out. Oh, no! Uh -oh! So, we packed our bags with sweaters and socks, with mittens and scarlet leaves and gold, and we move to a pond. Do you think you'd like to live in a pond, Muriel? It sounds wet. I bet it is. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below, fish darted, dragonflies above, and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. Well, that sounds rather nice, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. Uh-oh, until we sank. Oh, whoopsie. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the best place to live after all. So, we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. That sounds cozy. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the wood. We dipped our water from a brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Sounds very nice. It does sound nice. Oh, until we met... The bear. Yikes! Can you make a sound like a bear, Muriel? <laughs> oh, that's very good. Can you make a sound like a frog? We didn't make that sound. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, you're so good at that. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on the shore of salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant sound songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. Until the turn of the tide. Uh-oh! Washed right away. away. So we packed our bag with scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing the songs of the surf. And we went home to live in a house. Oh, that sounds nice.
There's the house right there. That looks a lot like Grammy's house, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Just like it. The end. Thanks for watching.